My name is Ben Knowles from East Coast Yacht Sales, and I'm really excited today because I'm going to be walking you through a 2015 Maritimo M50 named Buckaroo. I'm currently standing in one of my favorite parts of the boat, which is this really cool enclosed flybridge, which gives me amazing views all around. But this will be a detailed walkthrough tour of all spaces on board the boat, so please have a look, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me using the information below this video. You all also may notice that I'm wearing these gloves as we take an abundance of caution during these uncertain times during COVID-19 virus. So again, please take a look and enjoy. So as always, we'll start our tour of the exterior walkthrough of the boat. Here she stands at her dock in Naples, Florida at the Naples Yacht Club. And as you can see, you have this great enclosed flybridge up on top here with a really awesome um, exterior seating area up on the flybridge there. She's got a 17 foot beam and that beam is really nice to have in this social aft deck area, which again is fully covered by the flybridge and see how these doors are opened up. These spaces are really nicely joined together. But we'll continue forward for a quick look. You can see the shininess of the gel coat in the hull. This boat gets cleaned and polished regularly. Here's your anchor roller and we'll do a quick pan looking aft. A lot of boat for 50 feet here, it's amazing. So let's go on and we'll step on board from the swim platform and have a closer look. I just love this aft seating area here. So as you step on board, right here immediately is a latch, which is, is a refrigerator back here. And then right here, you have your grill with a sink. Very sociable as you're looking forward. All your guests can be hanging out in the aft deck here as you're preparing, preparing your meal. The teak is in excellent condition. And I'll do a quick pan here so you, you can see the joining of the two spaces thanks to this tri-fold door and I'll do a quick video on how that operates. But at night you can see how the covered hardtop with these lights, you have a backup camera here as well, really would nicely illuminate this area. So you can dine aft here as well. You of course have a secondary docking station here controlling your engines with your bow thrusters. So as you're standing here, you can easily look down the boat and back the boat into a slip um, without any trouble. I also do really like how they have these storage bins outboard to port into starboard, just to give you some space to uh, store lines and whatnot. You do have a fresh water wash down there, also a dockside water hookup as well. So let's carry around the exterior of the boat real quick. You have these nice stainless handrails. It's very secure feeling walking forward to handle your lines. Nice bulwarks as well. Then you come up to the anchor windlass, which is a pretty substantial uh, mirror anchor windlass. And you have anchor locker here, all chain road, and then on this side you have more space for fenders. And we'll just take a quick look aft here. I'm excited to show you that covered flybridge, it's so cool up there. Alright, so Walking aft, again, nice and secure feeling thanks to these stainless handrails. Gradually takes you down into the cockpit. 
no real big step. The only real step you have is this small little guy right there. Uh, this hatch gives you access to the anchor locker and this hatch gives you access to some storage and I'll show you that in a minute. But here we are looking forward. It's amazing what you're able to do when you have your primary helm up on the flybridge for a 50 foot boat in particular, you can really maximize the size of your galley and your salon seating lounging area forward. Um, you have the center island in the galley here. When this door is closed, you, it's more like a you know, J shape, um, but it is a lot of counter space, particularly if you include off to port here um, in the galley area. But you have a Corian countertop. They chose a high gloss uh, teak uh, finish and the high gloss is gorgeous. All the drawers are on rails and have soft close with positive locks for when you get underway. You have your trash right here. Sink. Four burner cooktop. Convection oven microwave. A tremendous amount of refrigeration space. Here it is here. And your freezer space is right here. Very well organized, easy to keep, uh, keep your goods stored. And then look at this pantry that pops out here. Elegant, the hardware on here is really, really amazing and how well organized and easy it is to get to everything. You know, gosh, I had, wish I had one of these at my house. It's, it's really awesome. And then again, thinking about getting underway, you can close these areas here so they don't pop open on you while underway. Here, you have a dishwasher. And just general storage for plates, cups, bowls, and whatnot here. And then outboard, you have your ice maker and another refrigerator. You also have another refrigerator up in the, on the flybridge, and I'll show you that. But you have a lot of, of refrigeration space on board this boat. TV, and now you're getting to this salon area, and look at all the seating areas here. Really, really amazing. This is a three stateroom boat with a midship master. And you, so you can sleep a lot of people on board. You can also sleep a few people up here in this space as well. And here, of course, you have to have some uh, space for wine and, and booze. We'll take a quick pan looking aft. It's a sunny day for sure. And we'll go down below and I'll show you the staterooms. So as you step down here, immediately to starboard is your third stateroom with over under berths with some storage. And then coming out of this stateroom, they have the shared head with uh, the third stateroom. And there's a door right there, which takes you to the VIP with an island berth. I'll back up a little bit, give you a better view. So you have storage underneath. Hanging locker to port. And then more. Oh, sorry. I'll have to port here and then off to starboard. Sorry about that. These drawers are very deep. One thing um, that these owners did, which is of importance, is they moved all the air handlers for the air conditioning aft. Um, 
they found that this boat was noisy with air conditioning units here, so they had them all moved aft at fairly great expense. So here we are in the master, the midship master, and this is a really unique master cabin. You have your ensuite private head with stall shower forward. Large hanging locker, cedar lined, with drawers underneath. Large drawers. I love this office desk layout here where you are able to get some work done if you need to while cruising long distance with the family. And now you're coming down to your full walk around island berth. You have a hull port to port and to starboard. You also have a nice area to just sit kind of in private and relax, maybe read a book, take uh, some time for yourself away from everyone on board. And here you have your washing machine. Really smart space for that. Samsung TV. Beautifully finished. Just the gloss finish work is really nice. It's nice and comfortable and quiet in this master. And now let's take you up to the flybridge. All right, so as we come up to the flybridge, we're gonna go up these steps here. And these steps have good grip to them with nice secure handrail to come up here. And look at this space. Oh my God, this is such a fun place to be on the boat. So, so space efficient. You can be up here in any weather, comfortably in air conditioning, whether you're underway or at rest, this is such a fun place to be on board the boat. And when you're cruising long distance, which this boat certainly can with a thousand gallons of fuel you have, about uh, 470 nautical miles of range, so you can really go the distance. Um, you are going to be spending time on board, and it's nice to have all sorts of different spaces to spend time in with family and also to decompress on your own. So I love it how you have two helm chairs facing forward. As we come up to the helm here, some notable changes is these Humphreys active ride control. And as you sit at the helm here, just at your fingertips, you have the autopilot. So you can sit back, relax, change your course if you need to, put your feet up and enjoy the ride in comfort with air conditioning. So you have great sight lines um, on this boat for sure. It's really, fun to envision yourself underway on here. Um, obviously two very large Garmin screens. Here's your Volvo display here for your um, D11 uh, Volvo engines, VHF right here. And should have opened up this moon roof, but this is a wonderful place to open this area up, get some fresh air. That window slides open, this window slides open, and with this aft, area here opened up you get a lot of natural ventilation but look at this seating area up here again under cover with some lights so at night to be up on the bridge decompressing up above everyone else this is a really cool part of the boat so much fun there's so much to this boat at 50 feet it is quite incredible. I absolutely love this layout. But now we'll go into the machinery spaces and have a closer look there. So first things first is we'll take a look at the lazarette storage and to get there you unhook here and you unhook here. You lift this up and this exposes some fender storage, dock line storage, 
and also just general storage underneath here. This is a great space. You may also hear the buzzing noise. That buzzing noise is what has been eliminated throughout the cabins by bringing the air conditioning units aft into this space. So that is the noise that they eliminated forward, which the owners weren't happy with. So that is a really nice feature with this particular boat that these owners have done. And now to get into the engine room, undo these two hatches here and you lift up with a gas strut assist going down these steps these are the uh, Volvo D11 they're 670 horsepower each at 2,000 RPMs, you're cruising at roughly 23 knots, burning about 47 gallons an hour, which gives you an impressive range of roughly 450 nautical miles on a single tank of fuel. Uh, the fuel is about 1,000 gallons, but when you're cruising long distance, it's really nice to have that extra range so you don't have to go in and fuel up as much. You can see how nice and organized your Raycor filters are. Sea strainers. You can see your fuel tanks outboard. And they even have sight gauges right there. Cummins Onan generator. pretty easy to get around. Good insulation throughout. Pretty nice. I hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough tour as much as I've enjoyed doing this video for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to talk to you about this boat and get you out on the water. So thank you very much.